Al from the Weather Tracker TV Storm Studios. This is your weather today. Here's Chief Meteorologist William Cole. All right, folks, here we go on this Tuesday. Again, hopefully your Tuesday is starting off well. And I tell you what, for some very lucky North Texans, uh, some of you folks actually saw a little bit of rain this morning. We're going to talk about that. Uh, most of us, it was a completely dry start out the door. And again, a very warm start as well. In fact, that's going to set us up for another very hot afternoon. Again, the same old story rolls on. Uh, daytime highs well into the triple digits, forecasting 104 in the Metroplex. It's another day though, you see that little 10%, uh, that is a 10% opportunity of a stray shower or thunderstorm around the area. It has to do with that morning rain. Another little outflow boundary for the second day in, the row, in a row uh, is in the area. And again, could it maybe spark a shower or thunderstorm? We'll talk about that coming up. Uh, but again, just as we look at our morning lows, can you see who maybe saw some rain this morning? Uh, take a look off to the northeast. In fact, Paris this morning, uh, they were down to 72. And again, yes, they did get some rain. Uh, meanwhile, most of us generally, the upper 70s, a lot of mid 80s for morning lows. In fact, DFW officially the coolest it got this morning only down to 87. Again, take a look over on the Fort Worth side of town. You have Alliance was only down to 88 degrees this morning. I mean, literally dropping just below 90. Uh, even on the Dallas side of town, quite a bit of 80s as well. Little, we'll call it a little milder over on the Dallas side of town out the door earlier this morning. In fact, Mesquite uh, down to, uh, well, 82. So heat alerts, they do continue for most of us. We've got an excessive heat warning that does continue where the temperatures are maybe going to be a little hotter. The heat index numbers are going to be a little bit higher as well. And then we also have uh, heat advisories uh, going as well. It really doesn't matter at this point. I mean, we've kind of done the drill now over the last month or so. It's hot. We know heat safety. It doesn't matter what color you're under. Again, all that's kind of semantics now at this point. Now, this is important, and this is back in our forecast for today, uh, more than likely for tomorrow as well. This is a red flag fire danger warning. And again, it does include essentially all of the Metroplex, doesn't include Collin County, and then all locations off to the west. And this is going to be for fire danger becoming a little more concerning, especially in our more rural counties. Again, we've seen several fires now uh, that have happened, number one, and then also have gotten out of control. And again, the, the, part, the Texas Department of Forestry, uh, Forest Service, they've now raised their alert level to a category four, which means more than likely, the criteria they use for this, more than likely, if a fire were to begin, it's not gonna be contained within one day. It's gonna be a multi-day phased deal. So uh, fire danger is really gonna be kind of paramount again today, also tomorrow, as the southerly winds, they do continue to increase. But take a look at this, a little bit of good news, again, for our friends off to the Northeast, some raindrops this morning, not quite as impressive as it looks there on radar, but again, there were a few scattered showers around. That will continue to dry up. It all has to do with the big complex of storms up in Oklahoma, heavy rain there, also across parts of Arkansas, Flash flood warnings, a little too much rain, even a little severe weather mixed in with all of that as well. Now for us here in North Texas, we're not completely done with the effects of that system even as we go through the afternoon. It's another day where some rain cooled air, similar to yesterday, is going to kind of work its way into North Texas. We'll have a little boundary that's actually currently in place already. It's going to be kind of drifting around the area. And again, as we go through the afternoon during the heating of the day, again, it's a 10% probability. Could it maybe spark up a stray shower, a thunderstorm? The answer is possibly, right? But again, the probability is only 10%. So we will be watching that. Otherwise, I am watching this dip in the jet stream. We have not talked about something like this in quite a while as the summer heat dome for at least one more day continues to flatten out. That dip right there is going to come riding down tomorrow and in fact it's going to bring another summer cold front with it. No real break from the heat tomorrow but it may spark the summer cold front late tomorrow may spark a couple thunderstorms around our area. Again, I'll show you that coming up. Otherwise, today, again, if we were to spark a thunderstorm this afternoon, it could be strong to maybe severe with some gusty wind. Uh, right now, again, you can see the model for today essentially not really doing anything with any of that. Very late tomorrow, here comes that very weak summer cold front. You see a few blips of green showing up. There's an outside opportunity of a couple thunderstorms. Again, very late tomorrow. We'll track that carefully. Otherwise, daytime highs in the triple digits as we go through the day. Uh, there's that very low wind opportunity, 10 to 20 percent as we go through this afternoon of a stray shower thunderstorm. We're tracking all of this. We'll have more coming up.